Welcome back. Time now for news from the left. The L.A. Times with this headline, how white and affluent drivers are polluting the air breathed by L.A.'s people of color. Notice that the white in the headline is lowercase, uh, and that is exactly how it looks on the L.A. Times newspaper today. Uh, the author references a new study by USC that concludes frequent drivers in L.A. are exposed to less air pollution than residents that drive less. So they're basically saying that all these people driving are polluting neighborhoods where people have to walk around, and that somehow is racist because it is, according to them. Because of the shameful history of Los Angeles, Los Angeles counties, low-income communities of color being torn apart to make way for freeways. Now, L.A. is a city full of freeways, as you know. Uh, the 10 freeway cuts right through Hollywood. Some of the most expensive houses uh, in Hollywood have the 10 freeway right in front of them, just FYI. Uh, now we're supposed to, though, feel guilty for not being a communist country that evenly divided all of our wealth and evenly divided all of our freeways as well. We're back to racist roads once again. Where's Pete Buttigieg when you need him? And this clever little Marxist ploy des introduced, I should say, by a desperate Joe Biden. The headline subtly leads you to presume also that... Black people don't drive in Los Angeles, that only rich white people have cars, uh, which is about as racist as when liberals assume that black people couldn't figure out how to get an ID so that they could vote. But just remember, this is the good racism. You're not allowed to get mad about this. One. L.A. Times. Next up, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin making a critical mistake, agreeing to a CNN town hall this week. The producers managed to find the perfect 17-year-old transgender student to stump Yunkin and his common-sense bathroom policies. Here it was. Your transgender model policies require that students play on the sports teams and use the restrooms that correspond with their sex assigned at birth. Look at me. I am a transgender man. Do you really think that the girls in my high school would feel comfortable sharing a restroom with me? What's most important is that we try very hard to accommodate students. That's why I have said many, many times, we just need extra bathrooms in schools. We need gender neutral bathrooms. And so people can use a bathroom that they, in fact, are comfortable with. He had really no clue what to say, and that was the whole point. CNN produced this whole thing up to put him in that position because that's just an unanswerable question for somebody that's trying to win political office in that moment. The right answer, of course, is, hey, Slick, whatever you were born with between your legs, that's the bathroom that you go to, you know? And we just have to, we have to figure it out from there because, again, this is a tricky situation. We can play this little game with you, but at the end of the day, Whatever you were born with, that's just the bathroom that you go in. But, you know, as a politician, that's pretty tough to say in that moment, especially at a CNN town hall, which, again, Glenn Youngkin should have never been at because the whole point of it was to expose him. And I'm sure the producers spent weeks searching for that kid and uh, producing up that moment as best they could and probably writing the script for him as well, I suspect. All right. Uh, next up, far left activist Jane Fonda, the picture of Hollywood nepotism, entitlement, and bad acting, and some Botox, suggested a possible solution for abortion-seeking women during a pretty wild appearance on The View. Uh, take a listen. We're not going back. I don't care what the laws are. We're not going back. Yeah. Yeah. I think the women will rise up. That's the activist. That's Jane speaking, yeah. and, 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 and she probably will get a Nobel Prize. But it's very, the truth. Very, very soon. It, it is the truth. But we're I, not going to do it. Besides, I, besides marching and, and protesting, what else do you suggest? Well, well it doesn't it's not happen murder. overnight. It's not a miraculous... <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> murder. Hanoi Jane, she's such a great activist. You know, as long as she gets to live in her daddy's $20 million house uh, and sit above everybody, she's very, very liberal. That's just all it takes. Good for you, Jane.